Hey everyone, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated book releases of 2018. I can't believe the year is almost over today. I'm filming this, but I'm really excited about a lot of the books that are coming out next year. Let's talk about the books that are coming out next year. The first book that I'm anticipating for, which is Everless by Sarah. Holland, which just comes out on January 2nd, is about how people can control being controlled through people's blood, I think, but the cover is gorgeous, and I can't wait to read that one. The next book I'm anticipating for, which comes out on January 16th, which is Zenith by Sasha Osberg and um, Lindsay Cummings. I'm looking at my iPod to see, but anyways, this is um, a sci-fi duology. I heard it's a du duology um, about like space pirates and stuff. I just thought it sounds cool. Besides that, I enjoy Sasha channel and I just would like to read her book just because I'm mad so I'm excited about that. The next book I'm excited for is Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I actually pre-ordered this book so I can't wait to read it when I uh, when it, it arrives to my house. I don't know what I'm trying to say but anyways this cover is pretty and it looks like um, a fairy tale um, book which I, that grabbed my interest and it's about this girl whose grandmother told her not to go in a hazel wood or something but I, I'm trying to remember what these books are about but anyways I'm excited about hazel wood I can't I'm glad that I pre-ordered it because I could not wait any longer for it so and it comes out in January 30th the next book that I'm excited for is Olivia Twist by Lori Lund um, Landon. It's um, a retelling of Oliver Twist. I actually have not read Oliver Twist before, but I really want to. And that comes out Mar March 6th. Yeah, it comes out March 6th. I just, it grabbed my attention because of the title and the cover and the story itself. So I get way to read that one uh, along with Oliver Twist when I get to it. The next book I'm really excited for is The Wicked Deep by Shia Earnshaw. Shaw, uh, sorry about that, but this book is um, like um, Hocus Pocus meets Practical Magic, which grabbed my interest because I enjoy Hocus Pocus and I've seen parts of Practical Magic. But I, I'm just in, um, interested in this book because of its beautiful cover and the title, and I'm just, and I'm just glad that they said it's Hocus Pocus meets another movie that deals with witches, and I'm just excited to read because of that. And I mean, come on, the cover is really gorgeous. <laughs> the next book I'm excited for is Winter Glass by Lexa. Highlighter, this is the second book of Spindle Fire. You guys are probably saying, like, why are you excited to read it if you gave a, the first book four stars? It's because, like, when I read it, it's because I wasn't in a mood for it, but I definitely want to give it another shot because I. it's not like I didn't like the story or anything. It's just it took me so long to finish it. It was a 300-page book, but I definitely want to give it a second go. And plus the sequel, I... I mean, the cover is as pretty as the first one, and it has a retelling of Cinderella, I believe, so i definitely excited about that. And it comes out April 10th. Next books I'm, I'm actually most anticipated for, and I have not read the second book yet, but I, read, I will next year, which is Ausland by Wendy Spinelli. All I know about this book is a retelling of The Wizard of Oz, obviously, because it's Ozland, but I've read the first book, Everland, which I really enjoyed, and I want to read Umberland, which I haven't read yet, and those books are up there. I'm not going to go grab it, but 
I just love the covers for these books because it kind of it's kind of a spoilers on which retelling it is. But sometimes like um a, when the people gives you a clue on what retelling it is, I just thought it's like interesting and plus sometimes you get curious and I definitely got curious with Everland, which I love and I can't wait to read Umberland and Oslan, which comes out April 24th. Next book I'm anticipating for, which is Legendary by um, Stephanie Garber. This is a second book to Carval, which I really enjoyed, and that book comes out May 29th. I can't say what the plot is because of spoilers with the first book, but Carval is about um, this um, girl and her sister. They try to escape from her father's abuse, and then they get invited to Carval, which she's been waiting for years. And I'm really excited about the second book of Carval because I really enjoy it, so I can't wait to read Legendary. The next book that I'm mostly anticipating for, I'm actually really excited about it, which is called Beast, A Tale of Love and Revenge by Lisa Jansen. This is a retelling of being a beast. I feel like it's a birthday present to me because it comes out around my birthday and it comes out July 10th, but my birthday is the 19th, but i really excited. I'm definitely going to pre-order this before this book comes out because I feel like, like I said, I feel like it's a birthday present to me because I love being a beast and I can't wait to read that one. The last book that I'm most anticipated for, which is Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. This is a retelling of The Little Mermaid, but the Sea Witch's perspective. I'm really excited. That just caught my attention because I have not read any retellings that is told by by the villain's perspective. I mean, Everland is kind of balanced between the heroine and the villain, but this is mostly the villain's perspective. And I'm really excited about that. And that comes out July 31st. So that's all my top 10 most anticipated releases of 2018. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below your most anticipated releases of next year. Because I am curious and to see if I actually want to read those next year as well. And if you want to follow me on social media, I have Facebook under Lost Reader. And I have Twitter and Instagram under Lost Reader 19. And if you want to see more of my videos, hit subscribe so you won't miss the, um, my next video. Videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!